and uh, the chorus. I was going to say and finally, but it's not finally because I'm going to do a separate video for the uh, for the guitar solo, which, as as we've talked about, um, is exclusively um, what are they called triads, mm. and we'll go through those. So this one for the chorus, yeah, okay. And I think what you got to understand about this song is that this is one of the best choruses ever written. Um, I just think it's a really well constructed song. I mean, he basically uses the same chords again and again. What is there? I can't count. Five, six chords, and six chords. And um, the movement that he, the amount of variation he gets from relatively few chords and the movement of those few chords in slightly different ways, I think it's fantastic. Um, anyway, in the chorus, we've got this. Um, now, did I say in the last video um, that it, when you get to the end of the verses, ask you to explain, you say, you gotta be, yes I did, okay, so you're on that G7 sus4, now if you want you can go to your F, um, with that same, what's it called, anchor of barring yeah, the top two strings. So you're going from that G7 sus4 to you gotta be cruel to you gotta be cruel to be kind in the right measure. Cruel to be kind is a very, very, very good sign. It means that I love you, baby. You gotta be cruel. You gotta be cruel to be kind. Okay, let's go through it bit by bit. Um, perhaps you saw there you've got two beats on the F, two beats on the G. Now look, I, I did my F like this, and then the first time I did my G like this, which is just basically moving that E-shaped bar chord up from the first fret to the third fret. I think typically I wouldn't do that. If I was on an electric guitar, I might. Yeah, who knows, if I was on an acoustic guitar for a bit of variation, I would mainly. Mainly I would go to the open G. Why? Because open chords on an acoustic generally sound better because you get the bigger sound with the open strings. Open strings ring out more and more sonorous yeah, than fretted strings. Um, <clears throat> which is why, well, one of the reasons why bar chords and uh, generally fare better on electric, sound better on electric. Um, okay, so we've got this. You gotta be cruel to be kind. I did it again. To be kind in the right measure. That's the first line, and you're going to do exactly the same thing chord wise and strumming wise for the second line. Cruel to be kind is a very, very, very good sign. Yeah, they've they have made one mistake here. The word sign, I'm sure that's when let me just check. To be kind, it's a very, very, very good sign. Yeah, that's right, because in the song, I think the word sign and the word cruel are sung over each other. So you've got one voice singing one, one voice singing the other. Now, am I still recording? I'm a bit paranoid about this. Yes, I am. Okay, and can you see everything? Okay, good. So, <clears throat> um... Those two lines, first two lines of the chorus, and and indeed the third line, cruel to be kind, it means that I love you. Yeah, but those three lines, same chord progression, and you're spending the same time on each chord. Two beats on the F, two beats on the G, two beats on the E minor, two beats on the A minor. Now let's have a look at the strumming pattern. Now, <clears throat> again, I mean, I've listened closely to the song and then completely forgotten everything. Um, not quite true, but um, yeah, I have listened closely to the song, and and I and I did listen to or try to hear what the acoustic guitar is doing exactly, and and the reason I can't remember it is because usually when you hear this song on stereo equipment on your laptop, certainly with the teeny little speakers. Or even if you're like listening on good equipment or on headphones, you're not just going to hear the acoustic guitar, you're going to hear the whole band. And when I've listened to this song throughout my life, <clears throat> I didn't listen thinking, I want to get exactly the acoustic part, 
I wanted to get the feel of the whole song, yeah? And that's what my strumming pattern for this is representing, trying to get the feel, the movement of the whole band, not just what the acoustic guitarist can do. Because the guitarist in a band has the luxury of being able to interact with the bass player, the drums, the everything else that's going on. And thus doing less and doing parts that interact. Whereas as a um, solo instrument, you, you don't have that luxury. You've got to try and um, get the feel across as much as possible with just this one instrument. Now, having said that, what I'm about to play, strumming-wise, is pretty close to what the um, to what the acoustic guitar actually does in this song. So <clears throat> we've got you gotta be cruel now, cruel to be kind. Because I'm only spending two beats on each chord, I'm not going to keep to that strumming pattern of down, down, down. which is what you clearly hear in the intro. So I'm going to do down, down, up, down, down, up, yeah? But I'm going to go to that E minor early, pushed, as they say. I'm not going to go to it on beat one of the next bar. I'm going to go to it on the and of four. So one and two and three and four. On that A minor, you see that I'm doing three and four. I'm just doing two down strokes. So on the F, remember F, G, E minor, A minor, two beats on each, roughly. Okay, so on G, one and a half beat, on E minor, two and a half beats. But people will say two beats on each, and then it'll be down to you to interpret up. Ah, but the band pushes it, going from the G to the E minor, pushes it, meaning change comes earlier it doesn't come on beat one it comes just before beat one on the end of four so again <clears throat> one and two and three and four and one and two when i go to e minor and one and two three four yeah so on e minor and one and two two up strokes and a down stroke one and two and three and four and one and two three four one two and three and four and one and two and three four one two and three and four and one and two and three and four baby and then you get to baby with the g7 sus4 yeah Perhaps you also notice that when I go from the F to the G, uh, I just feel it that way for some reason. One, two, and my and, down, down, up. You're hearing open strings. I don't feel like doing this. And I suppose I don't feel like doing that because... Because it is because it's difficult, and and it doesn't. It wouldn't just be that. If it was just about difficulty, I would learn how to do it because it doesn't take so much. It takes a bit extra learning, but it's the feel. And I can't remember exactly what it is about the song that makes me play like that. But for me, that's how I've interpreted the the groove of the song. Yeah, the the, rhyth the rhythmic patterns in the song. So I've got down, down, up. Down, going from the F to the G. One and two and. It's not that the G is pushed, it's just like on the and of two on the F. One and two and. I've got those, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the chord change at that point, and I've got those open strings. Obviously, when I do it slow, it sounds a bit messy because you can really hear the open strings, but when you're actually going at the speed of the song, you barely hear it. God, it's high. Okay, then we get to that G sus four. Now, what they don't tell you in the ultimate guitar uh, song lyric sheet, what they don't tell you is that the G sus G seven sus four. You got two bars on that. So you got. Then 
then you've got one bar on the G7 to be kind and then you've got the C over the word kind. Um, <clears throat> so on that G7, sus4, um, two bars, yeah? So the last line of the chorus, cool to be kind, it means that I love you. Okay, strumming pattern wise, the first time I did the G7 sus4, and don't take this as gospel at all, you can mix it up any way you like, but what you do here in the song is again that thing of the strumming pattern becoming more busy. So you're going from baby. So I've got down, down, up, down, down, up, which is one and two and three and four and I'm doing that for the first bar. For the second bar, maybe I'm going into my Maybe not, maybe I'm just doing the again, but certainly by the time I get to the G7, or when I get to the G7, I'm going to be going uh, full throttle. I mean, I'm going to be making it busier. Strumming all the eighth notes, yeah? And then you get to the word kind. And then you do exactly what you did for the intro, yeah? You've got one. Okay, and then it goes into the next verse, doesn't it? Um, verse 2. Oh, and it does show all that. Good. Yeah, it just doesn't show. Yeah, I was sorry, I was looking at the wrong bit of it. But it, it doesn't show G7 sus4 for two bars. You do want it for two bars. And then you see you got to be cruel to be kind. Two, three, four. Again, when you get to that G, just one bar, I would start strumming all the eighth notes. One and two and three, well, I do my best to understand you. And then you got a verse again, and you do exactly what we did for the last verse. And then you got a chorus again, and then you do exactly what we did for the last chorus. And then you've got the bridge, which leads into a very short bridge of C, A, and A7, which leads into the... Um, That's where the guitar solo happens, and I will do that in the next video, okay? Okay, bye.